look at that, a new mod, I believe it's called Koalitsek. Oh no, it's actually called Kaiserreich. Hello viewers, and welcome to a new Darkest Star a Heart Surviving Game series. This time I will be playing the Kaiserreich mod Legacy of the World Creek. I'll be... I've been thinking for quite a while which country to choose and I think I'm going to go with Mongolia. I'll have these options on and the objective of this playthrough will be to basically retake the lands that the Mongol Empire had at its peak. If you like my content, make sure to like and subscribe for more of it. We do have a fairly impressive amount of land as Mongolia at the start of the game, grabbing a few provinces from Russia during the Civil War, I believe, and we are led by this uh, beautiful man. Roman Ungern von Sternberg. To my surprise, Mongolia starts off with mobility focus, which saves me a bit of time of researching it. But I still have to abandon this. Since Russia isn't watching, I guess we can attempt to unify all the Mongols ever. Usually, I've chosen the set the seventh Kankya Kutuku as a second in command, but you can't go wrong with a man named Boris now, can you? This is possibly the first time I've seen Tibet be relevant in a Paradox game. So I guess I'll just send the envoy because, well, an extra alliance won't hurt. It is quite sweet that the Mongols are fighting the Hui government. I guess I'll just aid them a little bit to defend them. I mean, my name is to the north, know quite a bit about that. You know, I would be lying if I said that this was not an expected result. Uh, Japan, are you feeling alright there? In good old Mongol fashion, I would loot the land and salt the earth, but I would just rather peacefully incorporate it. Oh yeah, now you're speaking my language. I do like how Tibet was like, I'm not having any of that. Well, it's treason then. I was worried that Russia would be a threat pretty soon, but... Judging by the powers and activity, I still have some time to run wild. Uh, oh yeah, that was an expected outcome. I'm curious, is there any way I can support Soviet Russia? Like, uh, uh, yeah, sure, have fun with that. So not only the United States of America is in a civil war, but Mexico wanted to get in on this for historical reasons. While I would go after Shanqing Tango, I would rather push south, and for starters, Nepal. I really did hope that the Bolsheviks would win or last a little bit longer, but it all comes to an end eventually. Also, Scandinavia meant syndicalists, so good on them. My next target shall be Bhutan. After those two quick and easy wars, I guess I'll just go after Turkestan next. So I have a swiftly beaten Turkestan and that should lock Russia out of attacking them, at least hopefully. Just to make sure I should fight um, the Alash Orda soon. Uh oh. It looks like they will be going after me pretty soon. Or maybe they won't actually, maybe they'll go after the AOG soon and... Um, I have no idea what happened here, but oh well, let's risk it. And that was a piece of cake. So it has happened. China has annexed the AOG, so uh, train faster, guys. We may be in trouble soon. This looks quite horrid. Uh, the Qing joined Middle Europa, so if they do fight me. I'll also face Germany. I'm not quite sure what to think of CSA winning the Civil War, but I do hope that they don't fight me. Now that is a ballsy move. You know, this is crazy, but I do need a little bit of crazy right now. 
somehow I have completely missed this, but it looks like the third international is holding out very well against Middle Europa. Um, China is also on this, obviously. Now Japan has joined the fun as well, and they're fighting China, so I should probably fight China when I'm done with uh, the Baradia commune. Oh, Japan is slowly being taken over by China, which is pretty surprising. I'm honestly not sure who would be a worse opponent to face, Japan or China in this case. But Denchikus, the Mongol Empire didn't have India under its control, and you're right. I just wanted to take them so that I could release them as a puppet. Because late game India will have a lot of troops, which I'll need. Plus, I wanted to partake in the war for manpower. It allowed me to grow my army substantially. I did not want to partake in this war quite yet, but since Germany is in a state of disarray... Hello, Donkey Ban Union, how you doing? It actually looks like Germany is pushing back. What the heck? The French were basically at Berlin and they are managing to push them back. This is amazing. Occupying the Donkeyban Union has not quenched my thirst for manpower, so... Hey, Beria. Long time no see. And while we're at it, Azerbaijan is also an interesting target. So even Turkey did not have what it takes to soothe my thirst. I guess the Kurds are next then. This does feel like a now and now situation. So let's just fight Japan while we can. Because I feel like I have a chance while they're still a bit weak. Well, Japan isn't weak. The Feng Tian Republic is not very strong yet. I am quite surprised by these weird boros after the Second World Creek where the big blue blob just surrounds Flanders. So far, I'm happy with how this war is going. My manpower problems have mostly diminished and I'm pushing very quickly. And it's all thanks to the Princely Federation. So, if you can pop it in there, you'll really thank yourself later for it. So apparently the Mongols did not control Burma or Indochina, which is a bit of a fail on my part, but hey, I get a free puppet now. I was not aware of this event being a thing, so I guess I'll just annex Feng Tian. Yes. I grow stronger. Oh, poor Kolchak. He really doesn't know what he just got himself into. So those 16 fitted Japanese divisions in Tianjin and um, Hanoi, I believe, they really are causing me some trouble. Well, um, Japan's being really annoying by doing this, as you can imagine, because I have to reconquer this land. Or maybe I should say they're being annoying. Well, finally, let's annex these boys. Now Transamore is a part of me, so we just have to deal with Korea and Japan, really. Just like that, Japan has peaced out with me and I annexed Korea, which is awesome. So now I have all of China and a large chunk of Siberia under our control. Just for the heck of it, I have to go to all the legation cities to take a few more provinces from China. And... It is now Russia's turn to experience the Mongol horde. Look who just got Stalingraded! This war is far more boring than I thought it would be. It's just a trek through Siberia basically, with Russia who apparently began researching mobility focus by... Well, I just figured that they're researching mobility focus since my units are not doing particularly well against theirs on equal footing. So, I think this will be a pretty good time to end the episode. I hope you enjoyed this series. We're actually quite close to finishing Uniting the Mongol Empire. 
So thank you for the view and see you in the na in the next episode. Peace out. Bye.